if you're editing in 4K and you're filming in 4K and you're just struggling because it's moving at a snail's pace, you don't have the newest machine or the most RAM, well, this is going to change your life in editing and it's going to go blow your mind because of how awesome it is. Setting up proxies for your videos is going to change how you edit. Adobe has some really cool features and these proxy settings are so easy to set up and so fast that it's going to make your editing experience amazing. Let me show you how to do it. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I've imported my footage and all you have to do is I've just basically dragged my two files that are, these are uh, 4K files, okay? So I've just dragged these into the project area and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make proxy files. Now you can do, one file or both files, depending on how you want to edit. Um, what I typically do is I'll bring all of my files in and then I'll highlight both of them, right click on it, and then I'm going to go to proxy and create proxies. And when I do that, it's a new window is going to pop up and it's going to ask like the type of preset. The form might, might say H264, but what you want to do is you want to change it to QuickTime and then you can use low resolution proxy or medium. Medium seems to, for me, it works the best. And then I wanna have the destination of this proxy. It's going to be next to original media in proxy folder. That's all you have to do. And then it's going to put it in that folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And when I hit okay, it's going to launch media encoder. So me, you have to have media encoder obviously on your machine as well, but it's going to launch media encoder. And once it opens up, it's gonna take these files and it's gonna render through it. And what's cool is, is once it's, it renders through it, it's gonna go so much faster. So you can see it's creating the, the proxies right now. So I'm importing everything and this is something that might take a little bit of time. So if you have some other things to do, um, especially if you have a lot of footage, like I recommend creating the proxies when you're uh, doing some other things, like maybe working on a different part of the project or go eat some lunch or something. But anyway, come back. It'll all be done. And I'll pick up as soon as this is done. It'll probably be this says three minutes that it's waiting, but I've got two files, so it may take a little longer than that but we'll speed that up. All right, and we are done. So now that it's made those proxy files, they're complete. You can go ahead and close out or quit encoder. And what's awesome is <clears throat> let's bring in a file. We'll go ahead and just drop it in right now it's still doing the regular version. Like this is not the proxy version. So moving forward, see how it's kind of pausing. It's not because obviously going through it, it doesn't render through so quickly. So then what you do is click this little button right here, toggle proxies. If you do not have toggle proxies like I have right here, you can hit this plus button and you'll see that it's right here. You can just click and drag and it will show up there and then hit okay. And now you have it. And then you can see that I can scrub through this whole thing. So it works like automatically. I'm not waiting on anything. I can cut, edit, do all that stuff. And the cool thing is, is that if I wanna see it in full, I can just turn this off, turn it back on. And what's awesome is it doesn't matter if you're on proxy or not when you export it will export in 4k resolution automatically it doesn't diminish the the resolution but what's crazy is i can go through and edit and cut all this stuff up do all the kind of things i want to do except for one thing if you do warp stabilization it will not do the proxy it will do the regular but this is how you do proxy and you can just see like look at that I can edit this whole thing. I can scrub through this whole thing and I'm not waiting for it to render. If I turn it off, see how it's like lagging? Like I'm trying to get stuff through. So cool. Boom. I can go through all of this thing, edit it so quickly. I'm not waiting at all for this game changer, guys. Game changer. Now when you go to export, let's go ahead, go to export the media. You're going to see 
um, that it will be in 4K. It doesn't change anything on the resolution or anything like that. You go back here, that's with this on or off, it doesn't matter. So again, guys, hopefully it's super helpful for you, but proxy, setting up proxies when you're editing is a game changer when editing in 4K, 6K, 8K. Uh, you can also, if you do story blocks or any of that stuff, import all of your footage. You can also uh, convert that into proxies as well. And all it does is it's going to create a file right here with the proxies. But look at the size difference between these. So it just allows you to edit so much faster. And with an external hard drive, a solid state drive that's so cheap now, you can do this and not worry about taking up like any of your space. It's great. Thanks again, guys, for watching the video. And if you liked what I've shared, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and consider subscribing to my channel.